Everyone, welcome to the show. I have an update to share about three of Trump's capital insurrectionists. It's time for an episode of Where Are They Now? Was arrested. Patrick Montgomery was in court. Jonathan Manapa will stay in federal custody. No, I don't take responsibility at all. 32-year-old Luami Yazdani Isfahani, who goes by the name of Elijah Yazdani, entered the Capitol with his two sisters, 34-year-old Loruhama Yazdani Isfahani and 28-year-old Abigail Yazdani Isfahani. All three are Ohio residents, and according to the prosecutor, these siblings told other people that they believed the election was stolen. It wasn't. Um, but they went to D.C. to hear Trump's speech, and then they all three went inside the Capitol. They entered through doors that had already been breached by the mob just minutes before, though. I mean, they had just been breached. As these three illegally entered the building, they were you know, wearing MAGA hats. Um, an officer was seen and heard on video telling someone, quote, no, you can't come in. Nobody can come in. So they knew they weren't supposed to be in there, but the three continued on. They made their way deeper into the building and Loru Hamu joined the mob in chanting, whose house, our house. And then finally, after ignoring commands to leave the building, an officer finally physically guided these three siblings toward Statuary Hall. Apparently officers were there. That's where they were ushering people out of the building. So in total, the three of these siblings spent nearly 40 minutes inside the Capitol. Following his arrest, Elijah admitted that he heard others chanting about hanging the vice president. He said he also witnessed others fighting with the police, both inside and outside of the building. And he said that they saw officers, quote, take down someone who is banging on windows. And he admitted to seeing others force their way into the Capitol. But then he also claimed that officers allowed him and others into the building. And then he admitted that an officer started yelling for them all to get out. So his sister, Loruhama, was present during Elijah's arrest, and she told the officers that she also witnessed people fighting with the police. And then she echoed her brother's allegations that the officers allowed them to enter the building. Loruhama also admitted to removing the video card from her brother's phone so he couldn't post videos and photos online. And then she said that she didn't want people to get the wrong impression about the, quote, intent of their trip and their presence inside the Capitol. Now, we got it. Um, I couldn't locate any details about what Abigail may have told the FBI, but all three of these siblings were arrested on February 23rd of this year. They were each charged with entering a restricted building or grounds, two counts of disorderly conduct and parading or demonstrating in a Capitol. In July and August of this year, they pleaded guilty to the parading charge. So they were each facing up to six months in jail, five years of probation, and 5,000 in fines. However, the prosecutor asked for only 30 days in jail, three years of probation, 60 hours of community service, and 500 in restitution for each of them. The only detail I could find about the sentencing hearing was in regard to the prosecutor's assertion that none of these three siblings had any remorse for their actions. Abigail's attorney apparently addressed the issue and said that she was very remorseful and now understands the significance of being inside the Capitol. Um, U.S. District Judge Christopher Cooper presided over all three of these cases, and he has been just way too lenient with all of these defendants. So he's another weak Obama appointee. So, of course, he sentenced each of these three to only two years of probation 100 hours of community service, and 500 in restitution. And then he did give Elijah 14 days of jail on top of all that. I don't know why the brother received extra punishment, you know, especially when it was his sister who admitted to hiding or disposing of evidence. So doesn't make sense from what I read. But anyway, a pathetic sentence for all of them. Th this isn't going to deter anyone in the future. Anyway, guys, 
Thank you so much for watching and listening. If I hear any more, I'll let you know. Please like, share, subscribe. Please donate if you can. I greatly appreciate it. I appreciate all of you, everything you do for me every day, and you guys just watching, taking the time to comment and share the videos. So thank you so much. Take care. I'll talk with you soon. Mm -hmm.